I got cut off, and we're just going to have to do a part two because I don't have any fancy editors that I can put this together in a short amount of time. I'm sorry. Anyway, last video, I started talking about spiraling. I, um, okay, so I started, uh, um, whenever I do get into binge and purge phases, I start spiraling, and that usually happens whenever I'm like, oh, I can totally fast now, it's going to be okay this time, you know, even though I know it's not, like, I'm going to convince myself, like, a week from now, I'm probably going to convince myself it's okay to try to start fasting again. Sometimes I can't, but I usually can't. So, um, I start spiraling with binge and purge phases, and they usually, like, the worst one so far, like, this go-around has been, like, a month long every day, and that's whenever it started getting to, like, where I wasn't just doing it at night, it'd be, like, every day, every day, every day, like, I'd wake up, and I'd start doing it, and then I'd stop whenever I went to sleep, whenever I get in that phase, I'm like, I, I gotta stop it, and I'm better at doing that now, like, I can keep it maintained to, like, once or twice a week, and I, I don't know, I just don't feel like it can be that bad for you, I mean, like, I've been doing this for 15 years at varying levels of severity, and, uh, it's never been, uh, I've never had any health consequences, I'm not saying that you won't, I'm just saying that I haven't. And, um, uh, like, I mean, there are pregnant women that, like, throw up every day for, and, um, they turn out okay. Uh, you know, they do it every day for, like, nine months, and then they turn out all right. I don't know. I mean, um, I, I just, I don't know if it's really, I, I just think it's, like, smoking or drug use or anything else, like, uh, the, it's worse to live with it than it is to die. Well, I mean, like, it's bad to die from it, too. Yeah, that is worse. But, I mean, uh, I think most people underestimate how bad living with it is and how most people are likely to, like, live with it well into their middle and old ages and, like, actually die. Um, but I think that whenever I'm happy with my weight, and I think there will be a time before I hit a very low weight that I'm going to be happy with my weight and I'm going to be okay with trying to maintain. And whenever I want to do that, I think that I can just, like, experiment with other diets, experiment with other calorie restrictions, experiment with altering days of calories or whatever, and just, like, maintain, like, some kind of level of control. And, like, as long as my body looks healthy and everybody's, like, happy, like, who gives a fuck? Like, this is, like, my life now. This is my head. This is my identity. I've had this for more of my life than I haven't. I've been like this. Like, I'm going on 15 years having had this. So I think that it's better to just, like, find ways to, like, control it. And, um, find, like, go into a weight that I'm okay with. And I think I can do that without being a very, very low weight. I mean, I think being a low weight is, in fact, a choice. I think that those are people who really do just want to die from their disorders. And I don't really want to die from my disorder. But I do want to have a level of control with it. And I do want to be happy with where I am in my body and with my food. And I think that after I reach a certain weight, and there will be a point. Like, people tell me that there's not. But I think that there will be. Like, this is, like, my decision. I can get there and I can maintain my calories and keep, like, a one to two day, like not one to two a day, but if like one to two days a week where I'm binging and purging, if I can maintain it there, I think that I'm going to be set and okay for the rest of my life. Maybe I won't be, but I mean like, I know the risks, I know what I am doing, I am an adult, I'm not going to die, like I'm not like in danger, so then why is this so taboo? Why is it, why is what I do so bad? Why is what anybody does to their, themselves and their own body when they don't want to hurt anybody else? How is that anybody's business? And why do we make such a big deal about this and censorship and bullshit on everybody? <laughs> it's stupid. Okay. Bye.